Welcome everybody to the Formula 5 United States Grand Prix. We have green flags here in Los Angeles as we're waiting for the lights to go out with Champ Stappen on pole in the Red Bull. We have lights out and away we go. Luke is in the Aston Martin immediately taking the lead into turn one. Versatile in the Haas already gaining a few places looking extremely fast through the first few corners. Into the cocaine chicane we go and there's already a collision an absolutely massive crash here and the safety car is immediately deployed no surprises there. Yep and that will be a three second time penalty for MM7 for causing that initial collision in that pileup. Picking up on board with the leader now as the safety car is ending. The Aston Martin looking to get a really good restart here to retain that lead. Champ Stappen, our original pole sitter, getting very close to Lucas as he wants right. to gain back that lead after losing it in turn one. Lucas slowing down the entire grid to get that good restart. And we have green flag conditions here once again. Lucas getting away very well at the restart, denying Champ Stappen first place. Further back though, Versatile in the Haas is already challenging Pancho in the Alpha Tauri. Now momentarily loses out with the Mercedes on his outside, but keeps fifth place for the moment. Further back, Flicky going side by side with the other Alpha Tauri into turn one in a similar fashion to Versatile. A little bit of contact, but the Alpha steals the position. Picking back up with Champ Staffan in second, he makes a little mistake in the cocaine chicane! And there is a massive collision, the Red Bull losing out multiple positions. Just before we get back to racing, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Recovery Kings. See the range of GTA, RDR2 and COD menus in the description below. Flicky using his curse down the back straight and catches up with Acid as he pulls out side by side. He's going to be on the inside line and it looks like he will be stealing that position. Out of nowhere though, the Aston Martin of Bruder inserts himself into this battle, taking another position from Acid. The Red Bull though, not ready to give up yet, takes back that position on the inside. There are multiple cars very close together, they're going to have to be extremely careful through this tight and dangerous section. The two Red Bulls now going side by side. Acid boosts down the inside of his teammate. He's not looking to give up this position though as they battle. And while they're holding each other up, the McLaren of Apple actually goes down the inside and gets that position. The Red Bull compromising each other there as the McLaren wins out. Now onto the back straight. All these cars come in a battle over 10th place. Get that last championship point. Acid with his huge curse boost to get past the Ferrari. Flicky going to be using his curse around the outside, setting up the inside, and this contact, Flicky going backwards into the wall, Bruder gets distracted by the crash, crashing out Champ Stapp, and that's definitely going to be a 5 second penalty for the Aston Martin. Dude, I'm rear ending everyone, what is going on? The battle over 3rd place, currently between Pancho and the Alpha Tauri, and Versatile in the Haas, as the Haas actually goes past the Alpha Tauri, backing out early. The battle now continuing all the way through the second and third sector as the Mercedes of Fauzi suddenly joins the party and goes down the inside of Pancho. Pancho really losing out here. Versatile now ahead on the podium is going to be looking in his mirrors very cautiously though and there's already a boost by Fauzi trying to get that position back. He fails though. Versatile keeping very conf confidently on the racing line. Fauzi looks for a move there but has to back out immediately. Versatile leading them over the line ahead but that's Fauzi with a little bit more curse actually getting the overtake into turn one beautifully pulled off there by the Mercedes. The Haas trying to get that position back uses all of his curse and actually makes it side by side with the Mercedes but he just squeezes him against the wall. The Haas has to back out here. Flicky chasing down Special, messing up his line, hits the wall and loses his spoiler. That's going to be practically his race over now. The battle over second here is still very much going on between the Haas and the Mercedes as the Alfa Romeo of MM7 out of nowhere overtakes both of them. Versatile still trying to fight with Fauzi here as he blocks him and that's the Alpha Tauri going past so the Haas really losing out here. Yep and there as we expected that's Flicky coming to the pits and retiring from this race. Uh, Picking up here with the battle over 8th place between Spike in the Alpine and Apple in the McLaren and Apple actually sends one down the inside. Spike's gonna squeeze him and that's a collision caused by the Alpine. That leads to some more wheel banging down the line. Apple battling with the two Red Bulls. They're not able to get past him in the same spot as they weren't able to get past him before. Now side by side through the blue wall of Death Corner. The Haas though capitalizing on the situation now with both Red Bulls behind him he's gonna have to defend hard. Does not work out for him against Champ Stappen but he squeezes Acid on the outside the Red Bull having to back out there. 
the battle here between Acid and R7. Not over though, as Acid boosts down the inside. And that's a huge leap, actually. Some airtime for the Red Bull, but he does make it past R7 for the moment. The Haas is going to have some more curse, and he does. He forces his way around the inside. Acid using his curse as well, though, and gains the position. Acid trying to find some pace, and he crashes into the wall. That's his front wing gone. He, that's going to have to be yellow flags. He's going to have to let the cars behind go past him now. He should have a good gap there for Crispy, as he does. He's going to have to let all three of those cars go through. All his hard work has absolutely gone into the bin. Pantra now down the back straight. He's got Champ stepping close behind him as he's creeping up alongside Pancho here. He's going to try and send it around the outside as he backs out. Smurge sending it down the inside. The Red Bull not learning from what happened to his teammate earlier. The battle here not over though as the McLaren is looking for a way past the Alpha Tower again into turn one they go and he clips the curb that's the McLaren spun around in turn one and there's a huge collision. This is going to cost him so much time. The two Haas cars are now back together on track. They have the Ferrari of Monkman behind them though, as he actually makes it down the inside of the last turn on Versatile. Now looking on the offensive for R7, but R7 defends that position beautifully. Versatile now back on the Ferrari. They're bumper to bumper through the cocaine chicane. Versatile is going to have to bide his time here, and he does. He uses Curse down the Strawberry Straight and makes it past yeah. Monkman. Monkman on the inside now, though. Is Versatile going to have to back out here? He doesn't. He holds it all the way through both corners on the no, outside, the and then eventually yeah. makes it past, gains the position for the uh, moment. Okay. Like Monkman in the Ferrari, though, uses his residual Curse. On the last lap of the race now, and yeah, one really Aston Martin here of Bruder really yeah. struggling without a rear wing. Meanwhile, the other Aston Martin of Lucas taking the victory as Bruder takes a black and orange and black and white flag here. MM7 coming home in P2 with yet another podium, and Fauzi rounds off the podium in P3. R7 finally finishing a race. That's P4 for him. Pancho taking fifth for Alpha Tauri. And our pulse sitter today, Champ Stappen, oh, coming home in 6th. Not the result he was hoping for. Coming home in 7th, Crispy in the other Mercedes, Vorin in the Alpha Tauri just behind him, Styx for Ferrari in 9th, and Acid after that massive upset for his race in the Red Bull, finishing in the last point scoring position. In the battle of the Drivers' Championship, Lucas moves up into first place. Both MM7 and Fauzi gaining a massive amount of positions. Crispy and Champ Stappen losing out slightly. And not much movement in the Constructors' battle. Alpha Tauri and Alpha Romeo both gaining three places, putting them further up the order, but the top three remaining the same. Thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. Make sure to subscribe and join our Discord server through the link in the video description and we will see you soon for more content from Formula 5.